Hi, this is for Yield Science. I saw your video about testing radioactive household items with the uh, PRM9000, and I have a PRM9002. Uh, its sole purpose in life is to basically report to radiation network. But I pulled it out, and uh, since you were testing a few things, uh, I decided to show you uh, a much, much hotter source. Uh, it is in microsieverts because I am going to be putting a cesium-137 source to it. And if you see my other videos, you'll know generally what to expect. I'm kind of curious how this will perform because I haven't done this yet. Let me... Uh, Pull it out of the lead pig and put the uh, other source back. And here is the source cesium 137, cesium 137, 10 microcurie. And you can see this is already starting to go crazy. Now we flip it over, put it on top. And uh, we have greater than 1,250 microsieverts an hour. And a really annoying beep. So uh, let's uh, see what it says in counts per minute. Greater than 437,500. Yeah, this is a, a pretty brutal test, but you know, the meter is overflowing. So, for the other people who want to see it in uh, milliram, on. we will go. Camilla room an hour. Set it on it. Greater than 125. And uh, as you can see, there's a source. I'm going to move it about two feet away, just sliding away. And you can see it already drops down to low levels. Let me switch back to microsieverts. So you can see, you know, just uh, I would say foot and a half away, it's already dropped. This is because of the inverse square law. You know, the, the dose rate is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. And it's 1 over 4 pi r squared, and the r is the distance for the radius. <clears throat> you can look it up to get the formula, but, uh, you know, look, it's, it's not that bad. And I can reach over here, slide this back in, slide it closer. And you can see how much of a difference just a few inches makes. See? Six microsieverts. And over 700. I set it on top of it, it will go over a millisievert in overload. So this meter is capable of reading very high rates. I am going to take this cesium-137 sample and put it back in its lead pig. <clears throat> to limit exposure because you know, Alara, as low as reasonably achievable. 
Um, I do these videos for educational purposes. And looking at the dosimeter I'm wearing on my shirt, I just got uh, 0 0.1 microsievert from uh, this little demonstration. Of course, I'm setting oh, about two feet away. So that's uh, the Maser uh, PRM 9000 versus uh, 10 microcuries of cesium 137. And, uh, you know, it overflowed, <laughs> not unusual, but uh, you can see it went well over a millisievert before it did. Anyway, thought you'd find this interesting and a quick little demo of the inverse square law showing you that, you know, just a small distance away makes a dramatic dist uh, a dramatic difference in the dose rate.